Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about the case iFlat board again, and the first thing I want to point out is it's a V1 firmware. So it's basically similar to the case original V1 flight controller that makes it a little bit more simple to understand that all the things we used before or we were used to also works for the case iFlat board. And uh, People have been asking about the OSD functionality and what OSD we can use and how to upload that. And therefore, I want to scroll down over here. Um, you know, in the pack, when you buy the case flight controller, you got this uh, USB OSD module, which can also be used to flash the BL Heli uh, ESCs. So what we need to flash our OSD in that certain case, it could be a FTDI adapter, which I used in my last video, or this board, which makes it actually easier. And um, for the, today's flashing, I will be using the Evolve 78 release, which is actually a very common OSD, especially for all the steely PDB, I guess. Um, last time I used the MVOSD configurator today, we just gonna download the KISS OSD V2.5, that's the latest release. And I did it already, of course. We got our file structure, Windows, Xloader. We wanna open the Xloader app. And first of all, we're gonna change that to 328 and search for our file. It's in the same folder and upload config. Uh, the thing is, oh, the thing is, using the AWOLF release is different of using the MVOSD OSD because you have to set up the OSD with a certain config file first, and then afterwards flash the proper OSD, which is working with the interface and the inputs. So that's why we gotta choose the OSD config first. And what we're gonna do next is connect our board with the flight controller what I was doing right now make sure your flight controller is just powered on by either the battery source uh, the, the battery source or our uh, FTDI board and then hit the upload button you can't open port okay let's try it again connect it again upload and then it takes a couple of seconds and when it's finished uploading come on it says by uploader that means it was successful afterwards keep that window open because we're gonna need it afterwards so what I do now is I disconnect my adapter or the FTED adapter in that case. And then we want to power on our flight controller. The first thing we want to do is update the font. That's why it's point 0.1. Wait a couple of seconds. And we should be done in a minute. Yeah. The next things are actually just playing through the OSD and checking what you want to change. For me, for example, I had to adjust the voltage. I had to correct the input voltage because in my case it was not correct. So my uh, FC was reading a little bit low. Um, yeah, some VTX split okay we can change the order we can send our OSD display what do we got over here okay what meter on edit I forgot to mention that what meter amp usage you gotta connect ESC telemetry pass from the ESC to the FC of course to get it working crosser on off statistics at the end possibly when you're done with that just hit save. I do it twice. 
and then switch off your board and go back to your computer open the xloader window again but this time we're not gonna go for the config we wanna go for the OSD 2.5 hit open upload the actual OSD file is a little bit bigger that's why it might take a bit longer than before with just the configurator okay and we're done after that you can close your window you don't need the xloader anymore if you still want to config something afterwards you have to flash the config file again and then go through all the steps which is did to get back to your OSD um, don't forget to plug off the FTDI or your, your USB adapter switch on the FC and you will see another KISS logo which we didn't see before and then you want to just arm the quad and you see we got battery voltage RSSI we got our ESC telemetry there like you configured that in the OSD configurator we also got by disarming our quadcopter our stats uh, you can also switch through from 1 to 6 get all the information you need about your flight okay that's ESD stats from average in like some channel stats Okay guys, that would be it for the day. Have fun.